Well, new moon, solar eclipse, and Libra. Have you been waiting for this? <laughs> oh my goodness. I have so many notes. I can't. I'm going to try to still get this in just within five minutes, but let me tell you. New moon solar eclipse on October 14th, hitting at 1.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is an annular eclipse, which means that it's the, it's also called the ring of fire. Um, it's not a total eclipse, so you can see that beautiful ring of fire around it. It's absolutely. I'm, I'm here for it. I'm really excited about that part of it. Um, you know, the sun and the moon are conjunct in every new moon. This one also has Mercury and the south node conjunct. So, I want to say, before I explain some of this, I want to say again, do not manifest during this time. It's not a good time to manifest. It really isn't. And if at all possible, don't start anything brand new either. Um, during eclipses, this can make your projects or your manifestations chaotic, bring about un um, unexpected changes, or just be really erratic. And that's really not where we want to be. During eclipses, we want to surrender and allow the changes to flow in. Just flow in gently. Because eclipses are about change. This is about change. There's a lot of change happening here. And because this change, because this eclipse is in Libra, we're looking at change with some kind of partnership. Some some kind of partnership, whether it's romantic or business or friendship or whatever. We're looking at some kind of partnership, some sort of union, harmony. We're weighing all the options and we're reevaluating those relationships. I think this is good. I really do. You know, it's good to do a little house cleaning of that every now and then. I mean, I, oh my gosh, I've been doing that for the last couple of months and I'm culminating it in burning right now. Actually, there's smoke drifting into my office from my little burn pile. Yeah. I know you want to hear that. Um, Libra's ruler is Venus and Venus is in Virgo right now and a little uncomfortable with it. So this could cause some critical, like, um, some critical opinions, uh, critiques, um, some critical thoughts. It could be a lot of criticism during this time because let's face it, Virgos can be critical. Delightfully so, but we're very critical of ourselves, of others, of everything critical. So um, just be aware that that's probably going to happen. We also have a little squaring going on with Pluto. So there's that flavor of transformation also happening. Now, when we're hitting this on the south node, the south node represents purging, purity, taking opportunities, but having to give something up at the same time. Um, so there's that, that little bit of sacrifice or releasing um, to bring in something better, to bring in something that's more intuitive, something that works for you, like in a much stronger way. So again, this would be like if you got a promotion at work and you had to leave some of your friends, you had to leave like the floor you were comfortable on, you had to leave like an office that you like, but you're moving on to something better. So it doesn't mean that you're going to have to give up the friends completely. It just means that you may not be able to have lunch with them four times a week, or it may mean that you don't have that comfortable chair. You have to like get adjusted to a new one. There's some sacrifice involved here with it. So you're getting something great, but there's some sacrifice involved with it. Now, to be honest with you, this is what the new moon, like, uh, like the eclipse, the solar eclipse energy is all about anyway. It's about a big change of letting go of the old and allowing something new to come in. So, in this time, it's, it, this is going to, I, I feel like the key here is really to surrender and roll with it. I really do. Because you're inviting in all of this wonderful, like, this wonderful changes, this wonderful, like, 
things coming in but like all other new moons are a new beginning or a fresh start this one isn't this one isn't because of that south node component on this eclipse this is not like a fresh start this is maybe you are getting something new but you're giving something up so there's still that component of releasing and letting go during this time yeah and <clears throat> let's throw mercury in on that too and like do you know have that happen with our communication so we're we are going to be communicating a lot during this time but it's also going to be communicating what we need but what we're letting go of the compromise the balance which is all about libra right and the surrendering and just rolling with it during this time this is a much better eclipse season than we had last year last year was nuts i mean all of last year all of 2022 the may eclipses the like october and november eclipses holy crap oh my gosh it floored me but this year we're moving away from the fixed signs and we're moving into more of the cardinal signs as you see with this libra new moon solar eclipse so very excited about it i am i i have talked too long but let's see what the cards have for your zodiac sign um for this new moon solar eclipse Well, hello, Gemini, and welcome to your readings at the round table. I'm Jennifer. Jasmine's making an appearance. Well, it looks like it. I thought she was. Come here. Jasmine's here. Um, Mouse is here, too, somewhere. I have no idea. He literally just hopped out of here. I had to redo the camera. That was awesome. Um, for the third time today, I just want to point out. Um, but he just hopped through here. He's enjoying this really sunny day that we have. Yeah. All right, Gemini. New moon, solar eclipse, and Libra. It's going to be good. Okay, Gemini. Uh, this is a general reading, so if it resonates with you, that's great. And if it doesn't, that's okay, too. Make sure you check out your sun, moon, and rising sign because sometimes you'll resonate more with your moon or your rising sign more than you do your sun sign. And this is a, not a horoscope. This is a card reading. So you will hear astrologers tell you to read or listen to horoscopes for your rising sign. Absolutely, 100%. But this is a card reading, so dealer's choice. All right, Gemini. Let's see what the cards have for you. Mm, mm, mm. One, one more shuffle. <clears throat> I'll go one more shuffle. I mean, I have a Gemini moon, so I want to make sure. Like, let's get some good stuff going, right? Right? Ooh, that's good. Whoa, ho, ho. Okay, Gemini. I love it. Okay. We're starting off here with the Four of Feathers, which is Sanctuary and Rest. We're going to the Knight of Acorns, which is Action and Drive. Then we're going to the Queen of Feathers, which is Perception and Truth. Then we go to the Justice card, which is Truth and Clarity. We're getting more of this coming in here. <clears throat> 
Then we're in the sun card, vitality and joy. And the sun card is so freaking awesome. It really is. It's, it's an awesome card to have. Okay, so <clears throat> the four of feathers, sanctuary and rest. It really is about you like calling a truce with your inner conflicts. It's you like pulling in and just going, you know what? I felt conflicted about this decision or this choice or this partnership or this life goal or whatever. I, I need to take a break from it. I need to just like call a truce with it and sit with it and like, you know, just get some rest with it before you pick it up again because you ha you're not leaving it. You just needed a break. I feel like you just needed a break here, Gemini. So you're not done. And I'm telling you, like, this is a choice. This is a choice here, Gemini. But you're not done. The next card, the Knight of Acorns, taking action, drive. This is about you, once you've stepped back and said, okay, I'm calling a truce in my head about what's going on in my life. I'm going to sit back and go, this is what I want. I'm going after it. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're now going after what it is that you want. You're putting into action the manifestation. There is something wrong with my dog. Hang on just a sec. Sorry, she had something stuck in her ear and she just kept, she kept shaking her head and making that ear flap noise. I know, I know. So you're going after it here, Gemini. You really are putting it into action. You're manifesting it. You're just like, okay, I'm, I'm putting, uh, I don't want to say ambition, but yeah, you're just putting in change and you, it is a bit of ambition. It is. You're going, I, I want this thing. I'm ambitious about that. Go for it. Because the next card, the queen of feathers is perception and truth. Now, like sometimes we will have a perception of ourselves that we're just like, oh, I, you know, that project didn't work out. So this one's going to fail this, you know, that didn't work out before. So this one's going to fail. No, you need to let go of that mindset. You need to let go of that mindset and you need to change your perception of what is actually going on. The queen of feathers does see things clearly, but not maybe in a conventional sense. The queen of feathers is looking at things uh, like from a detached, a detached point of view, like r sort of removing emotion and looking at things in a, a clear manner without the cloudiness of emotion. This is what's truly going to bring in some success for you here, Gemini. And looking at it, I feel like because the, both of these cards have truth in them, I feel like you're looking at it when you're pulling back emotionally and you're just looking at it in a detached way. I feel like whatever this issue is that's going on, I feel like there's a lot of things that's going to cl get cleared up. I feel like you're going to see the truth of the matter. You're going to see the heart of the matter. The next card, Justice card, is about truth and clarity. Absolutely. This is about truth and clarity. This is about, like, uh, getting that balance, which is all about the Libra energy that we're going into with the solar eclipse, new moon energy of Libra. This is about balance. This is about... It is about truth. It is about clarity, but it's about karma. This is about karma. This is about bringing in really like what you, what you're meant to have, the seeds that you've sown. And I, I like it. I like what I'm seeing here because getting what you deserve is truly great. If it was crappy, we would have a crappy card after it. But the sun card, vitality and joy is giving you that joyful energy that like the energy to actually go after what you want. It's manifesting your dreams. The sun is manifesting your dreams. It's accomplishment. It's happiness. It's joy. 
this is an amazing card. I mean, the hummingbird is amazing, period. But this is an amazing card to have after the justice card. So karmically speaking, you do deserve this. Isn't that sweet? I love this for you, Gemini. I mean, again, should you choose this path? I feel like there's so like there's so many people out there that are just like um oh my gosh like I love the comments that are just like you don't know what you're talking about <laughs> I'm like probably not but this is a choice too this path is a choice <clears throat> so I get a lot of that I get a lot of people going that's not what happened in my life well what kind of choices did you make I know. I've made some really bad choices in my life. Yeah. But you know what? It's led me to where I am. So we live and learn, right? Right, Gemini? Oh, love that. Mm hmm. Okay. This is so fantastic. The Magician. Oh. The Ten of Cups. The Three of Swords. The Seven of Swords. And the Page of Wands. It's a knight. I just wanted to make sure. Okay, <clears throat> the magician. It is time to reinvent yourself, Gemini. It is time to work your own magic. It is time to create your own reality. It is time to bring it in. And watching the, like, the signs around you that are showing you like an eight or an infinity sign, this is your infinity sign. Here's an infinity symbol here, but there's another one in the actual person. Look at this. Going through, coming back, going through, coming back. This kind of energy never ends. Send the energy to the light that you need to be transmuted. Send it out to the light. Get it transmuted. Accept it back in. Use it for what you need. Send it back out to the light. Have it transmuted. Yeah. This is a total give and take energy. It's reinvention at its best. This is creating your own reality. I love it. And the reality that you're creating is pretty good. Pretty good. It's pretty dang good, I was going to say. Um, the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is that happiness. It's joy. It's happiness in every part of your life. But look. Look at every part of your life. It takes twists and turns. Ups and downs. That is still a joyful life. It has things that merge. It has things that drop away. This is a happy life. Roll with it. There are going to be ups and downs, Gemini, but it, you don't have to stay in the downtime. Yes, there are some things that are painful or frustrating. Some decisions that you feel like, I should have changed that. I should have gone in a different direction. Okay. That, that's something that we could all say. But this time, you're starting to heal from it. This time, you're putting the pieces back together. Look, you've already started the process. You've started stitching. You're bringing it in. You're bringing in that healing component that you need in order to move on. This is a huge, huge and important piece of this puzzle. Or of your puzzle. 
Yes, you've been hurt before. Yes, there's been some things that are frustrating. When you're getting healed, you're going to want to watch out for all of those pitfalls again, over and over and over. You're going to be on the lookout for them. Is that where you really want to be? You can be prepared, but you don't need to be paranoid. You don't need to invite that kind of energy in, Gemini. You just need to be prepared and just be like, okay, all right, I've had something taken from me in the past. Whether this was an idea or an emotion, like you lost your love, um, whatever's gone on, you've had something taken from you that was very frustrating and very hard to heal. You're in a place of healing. Don't add paranoia to that. Be prepared, yes. Be just wiser about the situation. Be wiser about decisions that you're making now. And move ahead. Move forward. Because moving forward is going to be so freaking awesome for you. This is following your inspirations. This is truly following your guidance, your inner guidance, and following your inspirations. How wonderful is that? You're asking for it, and they are literally giving you inspirations on how to get there. This is very, very possible, Gemini, if you choose it. Heal from the past. Heal from that pain and frustration. Be prepared, but not paranoid. It's, you're going to get there. I love it. Time is a time of growth. Time of growth, Gemini. Lime. Oh. Diana, focused intention. Okay. Squirrel. All right. Looking good. All right. The first advice card comes from the animal deck. It is squirrel. Preparedness. Activity. Squirrel scampers about planting seeds for later. It teaches you to save for the future and use time, energy, and money in the present. Balance the power of gathering for your family and using what you need and giving generously to others. Remember that there is time for both work and play. Hmm. All right. And the next advice card comes from Spirit. It is Diana, Focused Intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. I love that. Yeah! 
All right, last advice card, Gemini. It comes from the Essential Oil deck. It is Lime. The emotional aspects of Lime. It releases despair, discouragement, resignation, and betrayal. It instills hope, zest for life, and joy. Um, it creates a strong life force and a desire to want to live and overcome the obstacles that have brought discouragement and despair. The centering thought. My life is, an amazing, is amazing and I embrace all the wonderful possibilities before me. My life is a joy. And the affirmation, why is my life so amazing? And the chakras are the heart and the throat. So awesome. So awesome. All right. I've got a bit of a bonus for you today, Gemini. So I am going to pull one card from my ultra favorite, uh, the John Holland Psychic Tarot. These are so awesome. They are my go-to cards forever. Um, but I'm going to pull one card from them. So, uh, if you want to ask an internal question, ask it out loud. I don't know where you're at right now. Um, <clears throat> just hit pause. Think of the question that you want to ask. I will pull one card to answer it. Okay. All right. Now's a good time to hit pause, Gemini. Okay, Gemini, you got your question. Let's see what we got. Oh, come on. You got to shuffle. This is your only job. Well, it's not your only job, but you know what I mean. Choose wisely. Okay, your card is choose wisely. I love it. It does feel like this has something to do with a relationship. It does feel like this has something to do with some kind of relationship. A partnership or a friendship or a romantic relationship. Choose wisely. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for your support on my channel. Just love it. I love you. Thank you so much. Um, don't forget to check out your monthly numerology. I hope you enjoy this full... I keep saying full moon because I just did the write-up for the full moon lunar eclipse later this month. So I hope you enjoy the new moon solar eclipse in Libra. And until we see each other again, Gemini, get out there and make your magic. Bye. Mm -hmm.